Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered. Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. My name is Jeremy Bandicoot, and I wake up this morning with every intention of going to work. Uh, sitting down at my desk because I work from home, booting up my PC, uh, and just kind of getting into it, surfing the news for the morning. And I see the madmen and women at Vicarious Visions have done it again. They, they didn't just want to stop at Crash, no. They didn't want to stop at just one resurrected franchise being brought to its former glory, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 are being remastered by Vicarious Visions. I have no idea that I could be this happy again. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's look at this. So, kind of first red flag is okay. Is this gonna be another Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Five? Because that's everyone's fear at this point with the Tony Hawk games is that they're just going to you know peter out and and everyone loses interest in them and they try to bring it back and they just they just screw it up. They they couldn't get it right. But this is being made by Vicarious Visions and that is the kind of the first piece of information that kind of put me at ease was that this is being handled by the right people. The second green light that I got was that the original soundtracks from the games, bands like Rise Against the Machine, the classic stuff, it's all gonna be in there. And to me that just kind of, because that's what made the game, right? It was cool to go skateboarding and it was cool to do lip tricks and, and just feel like you're a skateboarder. But the soundtrack was what kept you playing, let's be honest. Tony Hawk, the entire Tony Hawk series, had some of the best music, had some of the best soundtrack, soundtracks, there were more than one, uh, to me personally, because it kind of shaped my entire, it helped to shape my entire preference in music, right? Were these growing up uh, video games that I enjoyed and this music just kind of added to everything. So that's the second green light. The actual original soundtracks are going to be returning. And number three was the trailer itself. I mean, you look at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 in comparison to this, and it's night and day. Vicarious Visions did such a wonderful job with recreating the world of Crash in the modern era and in the modern aesthetic. And they did the same thing here with the the first two remasters of the first two Tony Hawk games. It, it, it's just so... it's not realistic. Let's not say that. Let's not go that far. But it's, it's in 4K. The graphics seem to be great. There were a lot of detail work, like we saw in the Insane Trilogy, and for... Uh, that we saw in Nitro Fuel. But of course, Vicarious Visions didn't work on Nitro Fuel, but it seems that the trend for these remasters, and it's a very vital aspect of the graphics for sure, is detailing. Bringing detail and just kind of the subliminal stuff to these worlds and making them come to life. And that's the secret. And it looks like, at least from this first look, that Vicarious Visions has nailed that to a T. So, am I nervous for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered? Yes. I'm always nervous for remasters, or potential remasters, or that sort of thing, because I've talked a lot about uh, remaster fatigue before. But I'm not sure that remaster fatigue would apply to this series, strictly because we haven't seen a Tony Hawk licensed game. Uh, a proper Tony Hawk licensed game, when we talk about proper, we can go all the way back to Proving Grounds. But we had Ride, and we had Shred, with those gimmicky huge skateboard controllers that you rode on and you probably broke because it was a terrible idea from the start. Uh, but those were the last real games, the real last entries into the series. And with a proper remaster like this, at least for the first two games, I don't think we need to run into that problem. I don't think we're going to experience that problem because it's not a gimmick. It's a return to the classics that everyone loved and it's kind of just adapting them to the modern age. Now, where we go after this is a completely different question. Are we going to see remakes for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and 4 and see them as their own package? Are we going to see remakes for Tony Hawk's Underground 1 and 2 and see them as their own package? And then maybe American Wasteland and Project 8? I, I don't think... 
at, at least anything after the original Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series, we can expect a remaster from. Would it be amazing to see remasters of Tony Hawk's Underground 1 and 2, American Wasteland, Project 8, and Proving Ground, actually making them decent to play and actually, you know, bring back the good times? I mean, American Wasteland and the Underground games were great. Uh, the series just started to peter out after that. But uh, the real money was in the Pro Skater games, I can tell you that right now. And I've spoken before about how remasters are only warranted because of the money. Uh, and I'm not... They're not only warranted because of the money, but it's a very, very, very large factor in that process. And obviously, the money is there. Activision sees this money laying on the table. People want new skate games. I mean, people have been clamoring for a Skate 4 for the last almost decade because Skate 3 was so awesome. And we haven't seen a, a proper Tony Hawk game in so long. And I'm, I'm just over the moon. I can't wait until September. I'm probably going to end up pre-ordering the game as we speak. Uh, and I just can't wait to bust some moves uh, in the original classic 1 and 2 maps. Hopefully, like I say, we can get uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and 4 remastered in their own package, and if we're lucky, maybe some Underground, Underground 2, and American Wasteland action, because that would be really cool. But what do you guys think about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 being remastered in its own little collection? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you like the video, uh, and if you like the, the stuff that I'm doing here, be sure to show that subscribe button some love, as well as the like button. It would really make me feel good <laughs> if, if you could give those buttons some attention because they like the attention but anyway guys that's me for today uh thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you guys next time and i'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this kind of story and uh and see what kind of information we get from vicarious visions and activision concerning the new tony hawk remasters for tony hawk's pro skater one and two thanks guys and i'll see you all next time